And welcome back to North of the Broad. Of course, we bring you our show from the Pat Conroy Literary Center. And our next guest is the executive director of the center. And we're here to talk about the fifth annual Pat Conroy Literary Festival with Jonathan Haupt. Jonathan? Thanks, Good to see Robin. You. So this year's gonna be a little bit different because uh -huh. of the pandemic. So let's talk about the partnership with ETV and how that's all gonna happen. Sure, absolutely. So it's not possible to do things in person, which has been right. such a fun part of this festival for the past five years. But thanks to ETV Low Country, we're going to be able to live stream from the same set where ETV films uh, By the River, the author interview show, which is a Telly Award winning, beautiful set. So we're, we're really Perfect. so thankful to ETV and to USC Buford and Caroline Sawyer as well for helping us put all that together. So all the presenters who are able to come here to Buford, which is not everybody, will be on that set filming something that looks as good as, the, as a TV show would. So the dates are November the 5th, that Thursday through Sunday, November November the 8th. That's right. So in, in our limited time, <laughs> let's review what you know what you want to highlight about those four days and what people really need to, to know, particularly some of those featured writers that are coming. Absolutely. We've got a really good crew of writers coming throughout the weekend, but we'll, uh, I certainly want to highlight a few of those. On Thursday, on the opening day, we have Mary White, who is an award-winning uh, watercolor portrait artist and author from Charleston. And we're doing an event with her that evening, uh, 6 p.m., that's also in partnership with the Crescendo Arts Festival on Hilton Head. And Mary will be talking about her new book and corresponding exhibit called We the People, People. Mm -hmm. which is a collection of portraits of 50 veterans from 50 states, really looking at what lives of veterans tell us about America at this particular moment right. in time, too. This is a project that took her seven years, and she is fascinating to talk to. So wow. that's going to be a fun event. It is getting close to full registration already, so I encourage people okay. to sign up for that if they want and to then, join uh, us. And then Brad Taylor. Yeah, sort of continuing our theme of veterans, uh, we have Brad joining us on uh, Friday of Festival Weekend, okay. 2, 2 o'clock. And Brad Taylor is a former U.S. Army Special Forces officer, now New York Times bestselling writer, 14 <laughs> novels. Who would have uh, thought? Pike Logan <laughs> series. And he's got some really interesting tales about how he crossed that threshold to becoming a writer, because those are two things that don't really seem like they would go together, his past and his present. And they do. There's a really wonderful story that bridges all those things And he together. appeals to women and men, you were saying earlier. He does. Uh, even though the series is called Pike Logan, uh, there's a, a, a supporting character, Jennifer, who is Pike's partner in all things, and okay. gets equal time and therefore equal audience among, among Brad's fans, too. Right. Yeah. And, and so you also have workshops that will be writing workshops. Those will be kind of sprinkled throughout the weekend. Friday and Saturday are okay. really sort of both things simultaneously. Okay. There are workshops going on, many of which are already sold out. A few are still open. And we continue to have free author programs uh, almost all day on Saturday as well. And they range from things like our, our Camp Conroy campers, these wonderful kids on the photos <laughs> behind me, uh, joining us Saturday morning, some in person in the studio and some Zooming. Uh, going up to and including events uh, later in the day as well. Uh, sort of the big moment of the day comes about halfway through uh, Beaufort native Valerie Sayers, who is on our board of directors, former student of Pat Conroy, is now multi-award winning writer, is participating in a reading, uh, I think two o'clock that day. She's also doing a workshop earlier in the morning. And it's always a joy to get to work with Valerie on anything that we do here. And so to be able to participate uh, to, uh, for any of the events, mm -hmm. we, you go online and you need to go do that now and sign up. Some are free, some there is a fee, mm -hmm. is there a cost, right? There Jonathan? is. There's a fee for the workshops, but right. thanks to our, our sponsor who's been with us from the beginning, the, the estate of Robert S. Handler, we're able to keep all the author programs free. So there are two ways to sign up for most things. One is a little more interactive than the other. You can go to our website or our Facebook page okay. and sign up for a Zoom link and that'll bring you sort of effectively into the session. But we're going to live stream virtually everything on Facebook and also record it and put it on our, our YouTube channel. So even if you're not with us uh, in the moment that something has happened, you can watch it afterwards For as everything? Well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Everything but the workshops. The workshops right. are meant to be interactive and very right. much in the moment. Right. So those aren't live streamed or recorded, but all the author programs will be. You know, we have talked in the past about this whole, of course, because of the pandemic, the online offerings and the opportunities to do the virtual tours mm -hmm. and all of that, that you've been able to reach so many more people. Do you think with the festival that will be the, the same? 
it's already happening. Uh, when people register, we're asking them, where are you from? Okay. And they're from wow. all over. They're from all over the country, that the folks fantastic. who are signing up already. People who never would have been able to come to Buford in person, even pre-pandemic, and participate. Now they can. Now they can take part. And there is this Zoom fatigue that's happening, right? I, I mean, it's too much of too much over time. So that's why it's nice to record the thing. So, you know, if you're doing something else this weekend, but you, that weekend, but you really want to see it, you can do that the next weekend or the weekend after right. that. It's, it's always going to be there and always freely available. That's, uh, yeah, that's one of the nice things about the, you know, the online, the Zoom, you can just save it. And... Yeah. So we've got about a minute left. Um, so let's think beyond November. Uh, into 2021, are you still going to be pretty much virtual, Jonathan? What are what's what's on tap? We are looking at uh, staying, if not fully virtual, at least hybrid going into okay. the spring. And again, it's uh, that thing we just talked about. Right. So many people from all over the country are now participating in our events, and we want them to continue to be able to do that. Right. So our next big event in the spring would be March 4th, which is yes. an event that commemorates the anniversary of Pat Conroy's death with this wonderful day of learning. And we're signing up a good group that we'll probably get to talk about next month, <laughs> right. uh, but planning that as a virtual event as well. So once again, people from anywhere will be able to join us in a way they never have been before. And so just in the final 15 seconds, one last thought about the Literary Festival and why we would want to be involved and participate even though we're online. This is a way to engage with stories, and we all need stories right now. We need to tell them, we need to hear them from other people, people uh, that we might not otherwise have gotten a chance to interact with, and that's really the focus we've tried to put on the festival this year. Some of these writers are very well known, some are unknown, some are local, some are from elsewhere, but they all have stories to, to share, and they're all of value. Right, very good. Jonathan Hope, thank you so much once again, the Executive Director of the Pat Conroy Literary Center. I'm excited to hear how it goes. I know it'll be fantastic. And we'll thank be right you. back with North of the Broad. Stay tuned.